Okay, now I'm going to walk you through how to make a, a visualized project on your own. The first thing we need to do is make a new spreadsheet. So I'm going to log into my Google account, and here I'm going to uh, click on New, and the new I'm going to say I want a new sheet, and I'll give it a name. Doesn't really matter what you call it. Call it demo. And now what I need to do is I need to share it. So when I share it here, I say I want to get a clickable link. I click on it, and what happens is it makes a link and also copies that link uh, onto my clipboard so I can uh, I can use it later. And I'm going to use this and connect it up with, with the Visualize program. So we're done here, and now we're pretty much finished with anything we need with Google. You can edit the Google uh, spreadsheet directly, uh, but in general, it's, it's easier to use the built-in uh, editing tool. So let's go back to Visualize. I'm going to open up the settings menu here. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, paste that in there. So now I have a new spreadsheet in there. Uh, I'm going to say this is the uh, demo project. And um, I'm going to walk through uh, some of these settings here. So you can, uh, the title obviously is what the title shows up over here. Uh, the split shows um, how much of the screen you want to see on default. Of course, they can always change it afterwards. Same with the up-down split, uh, like that. You set the uh, uh, the timing. Well, that's the start of the timeline, the end of the timeline. The format that you want to see the time in, month, year is fine. The map color, that's the uh, the color that, that shows up on the map for 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 the text and, and things like that. And the map start, we can choose where we want it to start. So for example, uh, if we want it to be over this mountain, uh, we basically move the the uh, the, the uh, screen where we want it, hold the, the control key down and click, and you'll see that it changed the number. Okay, the, likewise, the, the base, we can set the satellite to a variety of different, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the map to a variety of different map styles. Uh, the satellite is, is what it sets you now, but we can also do a terrain, which is works in some situations. Earth is another map style. Uh, the watercolor, which is attractive, but you have to be careful about overusing it. And then uh, black and white roadmap, and then, or a contemporary roadmap, kind of like a Google Maps. So we'll do that. And set it and now what we want to do is we want to save it now what's going to happen we'll only really do this once per project so we're going to do a save as that, what that does is it saves uh, this project's settings with the new spreadsheet ID and all the settings we've set it to 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 make a new number four five six is the number of the de demo project but but you don't have access to that uh, uh, I will so so we'll do save as and we say, are we sure? You bet, I'm sure. So we save it. You give it a your username and password, basically your email and then some sort of non-secure password, um, and save it. Now, if you notice, it changed the number two three one five. So that's the our, the number of our project, the ID of our project. Um, so I'm going to say, okay, I like that two three one five. And now we basically have a blank project. Uh, and what I typically do is I go up here and I, I will put the, the project like this so that I, I don't have to load them up. I, 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 so right now, whenever I, when I go there, it loads up that 2315 as, as opposed to, I mean, I could go in, in there and load and see, these are all the projects that I have. Um, I could load up, um, like here is, it's four, five, six. That's the demo project. Uh, but it's a pain in the neck, so it's just as easy to do like this. And then all I have to do is refresh it, and I'm in. From this point on, we're going to be working primarily with uh, putting dots on the map and uh, and the timeline. And uh, so we won't really be set doing anything with the settings menu particularly. So uh, first thing I want to do is I'm I want to recreate um, the map. So I want to put in when Jefferson was born. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to hit uh, the, the Control and Alt keys and right click anywhere in the map. And that brings up adding a new event. Um, and we'll say Jefferson born. We'll just say born. And he was born in 1743. Um, and we could give it a, 
an IDE born. And now we find some place where he was born. So so I could I could just find on the map. So let's say Shadwell, Shadwell, Virginia, where he was born. And um, so here uh, I could say, well, that's exactly what I want to do. Is is uh, is put on. We'll pretend that we know exactly that this is where he was born. I'll hit Control click. And see, I'll put the latitude and longitude in there, and then we'll say Jefferson is born. And this is what will show up in the uh, pop up box when I click on it. Uh, it's going to be a dot, and we'll make the color uh, yellow, and we'll put it as the first dot on the row. And um, let's, let's see what it looks like. And there it is, he was born. And there is the dot. Now, probably we would want to actually uh, set it so that when he's uh, when we click on the dot, we probably want to zoom in on on the place. Assuming we had we had set it a little better. Um, that's interesting. There's a rock quarry near there. So now to re-edit a point, I hit Control Alt and right click on it. This is deliberately obscure so that so that users don't. Uh, uh, click on this and edit things by themselves. So now it brings up what we had before. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I want to add an on click. So an on click says, when I click on something, I want to uh, have something happen. There are a variety of actions that can happen. So typically I want to move the map. So I'm going to say, click, add an action, a where action. And if I just click here, it copies the three numbers that define this position. So besides just the the uh, latitude and longitude, there's also the, the the distance that I am away from the uh, from the map. So let's, let's center it a little more like that. So I click again, resets the position, latitude, longitude, and three, which is pretty tight. Now, if you want to go tighter, you can actually edit it right here and say I want to go to one, which is real tight and uh, click on it and it'll update it. Save the changes. Um, and I probably also want to put a, a picture in here. So I'm just going to go to Google and find one. You probably want to be more thoughtful about this, but uh, let's say Jefferson. And uh, I right click on it, copy the image address, Oops. and I'm going to put that in the image style. So now that's going to show up in my pop up box. So now when we click on it, like there, and there he is. And that's the pop up box. And there are a variety of different things I can do to the pop up box um, to, to to customize it, but right now I'm, I'm not too concerned with that. So I'm going to pretend like I put in all the other points here uh, from before. I'm just going to copy them from the other spreadsheet, but just so that we have some points in here. So, okay, I refresh the page and, uh, and it, with all the other dots in there, and now it, it basically put in all the uh, information that I had before. And I could have gone painstakingly and put these through, but it was it was a, a little much uh, to do right now. So one of the things I want to show you first now is, if you recall on the other one, the, um, the William and Mary, we had a uh, a map of, of um, Williamsburg uh, underneath William and Mary, just because a, a current uh, map doesn't doesn't show it very well. So let's uh, let's go and actually find that map and add it. So I'm going to, again, add a new thing. Uh, I'm going to say this is a map of, uh, of Williamsburg. I don't really need this, but um, and then um, let's go and find the the URL to the picture. And I'll paste that there. Now what's different there, now this is going to be an overlay, not a, not a dot. So I pick an overlay and um, Let's see, we'll set the opacity to maybe, oh, let me see what I had it to before. Let's see, 80%. Um, 
And uh, the next thing what we want to do is georeference it. So now I'm going to I'll move this over here for a second and we'll hit georeference. And that brings the map on top of the screen. And I'm going to georeference it and I'll move it about here. And you can basically mess with the with the opacity so you can see below it. And you, you may need to rotate the map to make it fit. Uh, or you may, the other alternative is, is you may actually need to use see a road map uh, to set it in there. So th those are useful tools. Um, uh, so let me set it back there. And now I'm going to say, OK, I'll pretend that that's where I wanted it. I click on it. And now, um, let's see, I'm going to put in an ID. And I'm going to add this event. So now when we go into there, we'll see that it shows up. And it's always there. And I could also use some tricks to turn it on and off at, at various times. OK, so that's overlays. Um, OK, now we want to add a story over in this story area. So I'm going to right click. And add it in there and say this is my story. And um, give it an ID just to have one. You don't really need one. Um, we're going to change the marker type to a story. And uh, let's add the story and say hello. We'll make it red. And make the font bigger. OK, now when I save it, and there's my story. So and I can go re-editing it by, by right going over it, right clicking it, and brings up all the information. I could change all those things. OK, last thing I want to show is, is, uh, is, is uh, how to make a segmented timeline which is kind of a useful thing. So oftentimes in historical projects, the, the times broken up to periods, and they may or may not be the uh, uh, same length. So for example, the JFK assassination, you might talk about all of Kennedy's life, but, but you know, might want to focus in on a small part of it, and, and that would get lost in the whole timeline. So you can make these, these segments. And then what happens when the segments come up there, they they set the beginning and end of the timeline to the beginning and end of the segment. So let's let's add a segment in here. So we'll go again, uh, Control Alt, click one, and we'll say this is era one, and we'll, we'll start it from 1740. We'll just make two of them to 1800, and. Um, Again, you don't really need to put much else in here. Um, the colors is important, so we'll make it gray here. But what's different here is it's going to be a segment. So, so now when we save it, now we have one segment, era one, and when I click on it, it goes from 1740 to 1800. I'll add a second segment, and so it's only showing uh, things within that period. So I'll add a second one. And uh, era two, and again it's a segment. And uh, make it gray still, and we'll do it from 1800 to 1825. So now we have two of them, era one. You can see it's 1740-1800. Era 2 brings the timeline from 1800 to 1825. And you can do all kinds of things within here. So you can have put, put click action. So for example, now I'm going to right click on it to re-edit it. And I'm going to say when the click happens, um, I want to go 
here, wherever that is. Save the changes, and now it brings me there when I click on it. Now, one thing I, I haven't really been doing is I, all these things are are in the computer, but they're not saved onto the spreadsheet yet. So if I look at the spreadsheet, it's really, since the last time I saved, it's really only got the dots. So I need to update it to get the dots on it and all the other things I've been adding. So I'll, I'll just open it up and there's a save project to Google Drive and I click on it. And then it says, see the thing there? It says save, project saved to Google Drive. Now if we look in the spreadsheet, see all those other things have been saved in there and so you don't really need to go back and forth to the spreadsheet but it's it's useful um to to kind of as a reality check um and and one uh, thing too is you have to make sure that pop-ups are allowed for vizize.org uh, because google will want to pop up a, a little thing saying when it's uh, uh validating the fact that you're in there anyway this it's a it's a long enough uh, uh, podcast for, for now on this. So uh, there, there's documentation. You can you can find it here in the and will it'll it's uh, it has a variety of different things and, and has all the details in it. And so look through that and that should be helpful. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.